start. Hello everybody, it's Valerie from Valerie Wallace Fine Arts. I'm here in my basement studio in Ornell, Maine, 04473. And it is 10 o'clock on Tuesday um, in June. And I today we're going to do Clownfish, otherwise known as Nemo. To yeah. those of us from the 90s or whatever. Alright, so let's get started. Um, what makes a clownfish look like a clownfish, Daphne? Uh, orange and white stripes. Orange and white stripes. Easy. And that's it. That's all you need. What kind of shape is the fish with the oval at the fins? An oval? A kind of an oval, yeah. It's a little easier than the, um, trout because it's not so long and skinny. So we're just going to plop it on here. We want to have room for the tail, so we're going to plan it out a little bit. Okay, I want you to start. We're going to make a spot. I've got my orange. And we're going to make a spot right on the top where we think the top ought to go. Okay, so maybe like find the middle of your page, go a little, a little near the top and make yourself a nice line like that. Okay, now we want a super fat fish. Okay, so we want to go way down near the bottom. We just have little fins to put on. So I mean, this is too far and this, but this is too skinny. Make it a little bit bigger. All right, so we go right about here. And then I want to find the front of his face and so that we know where we're going to round it to. Okay, it's helpful to have these little spots to aim for. Okay, so come in. This is too close. So come in a little bit. We don't want it to look like he's jammed up against the side of the aquarium and he's very sad. We want to look like he's like floating around having a good time. So we'll put a spot right about there. And then when, see how he's super round on the front of his face? So we're just going to round that out. So go like this and see if you can round that guy right out or that girl. They're all the same same color, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. down here, uh, since I can't find my charcoal, I'm going to do it with this kind of black. I'll do the same thing down here, and we'll just do it in black and white, okay? I have to make it a little smaller if I can do that. It's not my forte. Okay, um, right here, and then I'm going to go below that, maybe right about here. I'll find a point out here, but I don't want a pointy nose. I want a rounded nose. So if you made a pointy nose, just round it. We'll color over it. We'll disguise it. Okay? We don't want pointy nose fish. Who has, some of them are like that, but not Sword many fish. Them. Yeah, they're pretty pointy. Okay? Alright. So he does kind of, you know, run, you know, he's coming down on both sides, but he doesn't come all the way together again because you have this little tail. And what is this tail kind of, what's the shape sort of of it? A square? Yeah, it's kind of square with a rounded end, okay? So what I want to do is find, a, there's a line right here, right? There's this white that on the edge of the, with the white line, the white stripe. Mm -hmm. We're going to aim for that, okay? So if this is the middle, we're going to go around here. I want to leave a nice space. So make, a, make enough room for your tail if you can possibly do it. So I'm going to put a line about, maybe right about here, about that long, okay? And then I'm going to bring my top of my fish down to that, and this is probably like this. It's, you could just draw a big oval and then make some stripes on there and color it in. If that's what you're doing, that's great. If, um, but this will help it so you can fit everything on there. Get in the habit of figuring out how to make everything fit, okay? Because you don't want to not have room. All right, so I did that, and I'm going to come down to there and down to there like this, okay? Um, and it pretty much just goes right, oops, right out like this and right out like this and then rounds, okay? So we'll just bring it out a little bit, maybe out a little bit more, and then we'll round that guy out a little bit, okay? So far so good? Yes. Here, here, and round it. Okay, and hopefully, hopefully some of the little kids are watching today, so we're not going to dilly-dally. We're going to get right into it because we don't want them to just color, scribble. All right. I mean, not that that's okay. And um, so if you're going a little bit slower pace, then you can always um, replay it afterwards and pause it. Okay? All right. The next thing I want to do is I want to put on the fins, okay? Before we do the stripes, I want to put the fins on, and I'll kind of explain to you why. Um, one of them is right on the back of it, goes, comes right from the back of that tail and makes a little bump. So it's kind of like this, okay? And then this one is a little closer to the front of his head. Maybe you can go to this point here, go up a little bit, go up a little bit higher on this side, actually, and it kind of rounds like that. But they're not huge, you know? 
So it makes it easy to fit on there. Another one on the body down here that kind of rounds out. All right. And then two little ones here. One on each side. Okay, so we'll do one that kind of loops like this. And then we'll do just a little bit smaller one that loops like that. Looks like he has two little nubby little legs. All right. Do that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five on the body and the tail fin. Okay, do those, do those. All right, if you aren't sure, I'm gonna do one on the back, kind of like this. And then the front of this one is a little bit higher than the back is, so it goes a little bit like that, maybe. Although I've drawn the clownfish from another picture and they don't always look like that, but. Okay, and then a little thing like this. Okay. I mean, this is definitely something you'd like to have um, an orange for. I tried to find an orange piece of paper, but I didn't have any. So I didn't do that. Okay, so then this is the reason why I didn't want you to do the white stripes, is because this fin overlaps that white stripe. Okay, so when you're drawing, you want to remember the things that are the closest to you. You want to make sure you get those on first, so you don't have, we don't want a line that runs through our fin. Okay, so this is... You know, around the middle, a little bit lower too, okay? Maybe make a line like this, and then it, it just rounds, kind of like the letter C, right? Kind of goes around like that. Like a backwards D. Like a backwards D. It also looks a little bit like an ear, doesn't it? To me it does. I guess it's actually kind of like this. Alrighty. Okay, so then... Um, I don't want to put the black on until the end. Why don't I want to put the black on until the end, Daphne? Can you smudge it around? Yeah, because it's just going to make a big mess of our nice orange, okay? So the next thing I want to do, but I want to save these spots. I don't want to forget about them, okay? So I'm going to go from this, if this works for you, but we're going to make a stripe in the middle, okay? I'm going to save a nice spot in there. If it doesn't line up with the fins the same way, don't worry, because their stripes come in different ways, Okay? This one in the front, he's got a little curve. We want to have enough room for his face. So let's think about the face, okay? And we're drawing the line that is going to make him have a nice little round face. Like that. And then I'll just have a little bit smaller white line, white stripe right there. The, the tricky thing is remembering which is orange and which is white. But we will, we will do that, okay? And then you're going to have one on the tail back here, okay? If you happen to have a red or maybe even a reddish brown or a darker orange. Grab that right now, okay? Because he actually had, the reason why I put this picture is because he actually has like a little smile. Well, actually he has a frown. Mm -hmm. Should I turn it upside down and make him smile? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I will. I'm gonna make him happy because he looks really crabby. <laughs> All right, so first thing I wanna do is save a spot for his eyes. So I'm gonna take this darker orange and I'm going to make a nice big 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 circle like this and then I'm going to make another one inside so it's going to look like a donut with a big hole okay and then instead of a frowny face we're going to do this so I'll start really low really low on his mouth okay I can always squeeze the top in but this will be helpful so I'll start way low like this and I'll bring it up I think it's part of maybe why he does it. it's like a clown mouth okay and then just above that, I'm going to make the same shape. So I have a curve like this and a curve like this. They're both the same, and I'm going to round it together like this. And then in the middle of it, it has a little line. Because you know how clowns have that big red yes. smile? And that's, that's what it, it's kind of like, big lips. Okay? All right. Um, before I color it in, if, if you're, if you're, oops, if you're, um, if you're still working, then just get caught up to this spot. But before I color it in, I want to color in a little bit in my in the background. Um, what color is water, Daphne? See through. It's see through. Okay. So when you're doing the water, it's really whatever color things are behind it. So if you have your fish on a pink table on a table with a pink tablecloth then your background can be, can be pink or whatever. So the 
background can be any color that you want it to be, but we want to put it on there now before we color the orange on there, okay? So, and if you don't want to, don't do it, and um, you can probably figure out what to do, but if, whoops, I did it on the wrong one. <laughs> All right, um, maybe I'll, I'll do it a couple of different colors. I'm going to put a little blue in here. right up close. Always think a little bit about the background. It makes the colors more fun. You get more out of it. You know, don't waste paper. You know, flip it over if you don't like something. You can always do that. I go, th kids go through a lot of paper in here when they're doing their free drawing, so I use scraps. But some people really use it too much about it but you know even when you're doing a little doodle you can do a little more or just because something has a mark on it doesn't mean you can't draw on it take that mark and turn it into something else so I remember doing I don't know what I did I did my mother do it I can't imagine I don't know but I'd have somebody just scribble something on a piece of paper a couple of little marks and then I would turn those marks into something staring off into space. Okay. All right, so go back to your, if you've got that on there, if you don't have it on there, don't worry about it. Maybe down here what I'll do is, I don't know if that's going to work. Do a little something. my lighter orange, pick whatever orange you love, and really there's, you can use both if you want, maybe I'll use both too. And so the thing is, is mark that you're going to get the right one. So, so I'm going to color orange here, I'm going to color orange here, this one, and this one. Okay? If maybe you have a little kid and you have a parent nearby, you might want to do that to point them out. But if they do it wrong, who cares, right? But you don't want to not have any stripes. The white stripes are fine. So I'm going to color in all of the orange parts. Ready? On your arms, go. <laughs> so here, the little bit of the red, it will stand out a lot, but it will stand out a little bit so that um, the lips and the a little shape around that. So I want to leave the inner, I'm going to color the donut part orange, but I'm going to leave the inner part. We're going to do that black. We do it wrong. No, there we go. Okay. Where's that? Where was Little Nemo? Out. Um, Any little? Was it in? Was it new in your lifetime, or was it before that? I think it. I think it was pretty new when I was watching it. Mm -hmm. But they. Came out with the Finding Dory one relatively recently. Oh, I didn't know that. What? Is that one DeGeneres do the voice in that one too? I didn't say that. But I think, you know, when I was in high school, maybe it came out. I've never seen it. It's pretty cute. Yeah, it is cute. Okay, so down here, I can probably smudge in this. So what you have to do if you're doing something in pencil, black and white, is you have to kind of imagine that somebody took a black and white photograph of what you're drawing, and you have to think about how you'd be able to see some of it black and some of it gray, and 
And if you, would, um, if you have a printer, you can probably print a picture in black and white, and that'll help you to sort of see what, how it all works. Sometimes you're drawing something and you just don't know how to see it. Or maybe you did it and you can't figure out what's not right about it. That would help is taking a, using a gray, black and white photo or whatever it is you're working with. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I put, so this is a pretty dark. So if I put a little bit more black, on my lines here, I can use that to make my orange, which is you know, gray, just a little bit easier to see. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! I see square X and oh, wrong color. X's I forgot to do. So we've got them all along there, now we just have to do, to do the details in the black, okay? So we're good? Oops, yeah, I can use this for both. Okay, well, let's do the eye first. If you can manage to leave a little teeny tiny bit of white before, behind, it doesn't have to be a circle, it can be an oval, it can be a triangle, it doesn't really matter. But if you can leave a little bit behind when you're coloring it in, it'll make him look a little happier and more alive, like that, okay? So try that. Um, then let's go to the fins. Okay, so all of the fins have a thick black, and then the ones from the tail feather and on the top, tail feather, tail fin, they have a little bit of striping too. So, and probably we're going to wind up outlining the fish. Actually, I might have you do that right now because at the end people get really, um, they do it kind of sloppy. Well, so now I'll put a little bit of lines on that. I'll just go around and put a little extra black on all of the fins. And put a little stripey stripe like that. Okay. And back here. This is one of the first pictures or oh, as I used to do from way back when I was first teaching work. So we're doing the tiny fish. So I'm sure there's some kids who are like seniors in high school that remember painting it. Okay, and this these little these little fins have quite a bit. Double check. Make sure you got all of your all of your fins have a little black on them, and even this guy right in here. Okay. Okay. I'll do it down here. You, if you don't know already, there's a playlist on YouTube of all, well actually I hit 70 <laughs> with the full moon picture. Um, Valerie, free drawing class with Valerie Wallace Fine Arts, you should be able to find them. But you want to look for the playlist because then you can kind of scroll down and you can see all the choices, find something that looks good to you. There should be something there, hopefully, because there's a lot. And there's a lot of different stuff. Okay, oops, this one too. There we go. And let's do outlining the um, outside of your white stripes, which is good because that's actually how they look. We, I thought we, did we have a um, aquarium at some point? Okay, so I am going to um, outline the fish. Okay, and that'll make.
make it, you can decide whether you want to go um, in the space. I don't think I'm going to do the space between the uh, ends and the body, though. I'm going to do that, which is pretty much that's it. But I'm going to take <coughs> my dark red and I'm going to put it here. Not dark red, dark orange. Put that there. Um, maybe a little, whoops, I don't want it all over my, maybe a little here, a little extra. What other color would go well with orange, Jeff? Pink. <laughs> yeah, but what else? Red. What will make it look lighter? White. Yellow. Okay. White and yellow. I'm going to put a little yellow on. So if you're having fun coloring, just stay away from the black. Don't color everything. Just color a little bit here and there. Why not? Especially if you're using colored pencils, because you probably didn't color enough. You probably need to color more. Okay? I got that guy down there. I think um, he looks like he has a nose here, so I'm going to bring this out so that he doesn't look so much like he has a spot on the end of his nose. Okay? How about that? Super good. Um, on Thursday at 10 o'clock, June, I don't know, maybe 10th, 8th. Oh, I think he wrote... Holy Creek, you wrote it wrong. That Friday is actually the 12th, not the 13th. Okay. All right. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise, I got the date wrong. Okay. Thursday at 10 is a, a picture of daisies. That's the 11th. Because they're coming out. What? It would be the 11th. And then, okay, the 11th. And then on the 12th, which is Friday night, I have a little cottage and a little field with a fence and stuff. It's super cute and fun. That'll be at 8 o'clock at night. And, um, and of course, they're always on YouTube. And if you would like to make a donation, you can go to Valerie Wallace, or, or right below there, there's a link, and you can click on that. It'll take you right to the page. And I'm also on Venmo at Valerie Wallace 9 And thank you very much for watching. And I hope you had a, you know, fun time drawing a little uh, crawfish. Okay? And um, thanks again for joining, and I'll see you soon. And I'm going to drink my ice cream now. See if I can leave you with a picture to copy from. Kelly Cole! I haven't seen you a lot. Hey Catherine, Alicia, you should have your little your little boy draw. Marissa. Hey Max. Jordan Jordan's watching. My my uh, son in law to be. Hey Amy. Hey Sue. Hey mom. Alright. Thank you.